word get rid of it stuck in my head. So I uh, put it on the market for $3,000. And uh, two days later, so I called the lady back up. I go, hey, give me 300 bucks for it. She's like, great. And she's so happy about it for getting $300. <laughs> That's and, awesome. You know, so quick flip for you know a couple of days and not really doing a whole lot of work. So it was fun. Gary Pendergast, everybody. So, quick question for you, Gary. Uh, yeah. Have you ever done one of these interviews before? Uh, yeah, one or two. Okay, six or seven, eight, nine. <laughs> <laughs> I got a quick question for you. What makes a pilot, a professional pilot that's driving super cool jets like you showed me yesterday, uh, want to be a land flipper? Tell me about it. Well, it's basically like this. Um, you're either trading hours for dollars or you're being an entrepreneur and creating things and making money that way and helping people in need. Um, I chose the latter path, which is to uh, flip land and create wealth. So that's my goal. We could end this interview right now. <laughs> I mean, that's great. <laughs> like, so what? I mean, that's, yeah, that's what the question I had in the back of my head earlier when I figured out when you uh, agreed to be interviewed, because that's a pretty, that's a pretty big profession. People talk about that their whole lives, you know, it's like, it's up there with doctors, dentists, lawyers, attorneys, like it's all that and pilots. Uh, those are all like the tops of society, you know? Yeah. And I met people think their whole lives are train their whole lives to do that. So that's, I think that's pretty interesting. That's cool. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I trained for a long time for it. Um, Wanted to do it ever since I was a kid, you know, got my private license at like 18 or 17 years old. And um, it was fun back then. And it's still fun. But it's not fun to do it for a living. It's more fun just to do it for fun. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing now. And you can see your properties from the air. Much easier. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, tell me, uh, tell me about your best deal. It doesn't have to be financially best either. It could be something that you're helping somebody with. I don't know. You, you choose that. Um, this is probably, it's not a financial deal. This is just a very, very, very small deal. It's actually closing on Monday, Tuesday, actually, because of Martin Luther King Day. But um, I like it because I help somebody out and I create something out of nothing. It's a nothing property, but everybody's really happy, right? It's a small property. It's a lot, acre lot. Um, actually had it under contract for a couple thousand bucks. And I saw something on the aerial before I closed on it that was a red flag for me yeah. it looked like it had some wetlands on it so i actually drove out to see this one because it's close to my house maybe an hour away i drove to see it and lo and behold about three quarters of the thing is wet wetlands and not good so i called the lady back up say hey i can't close on this here's why and all these environmental problems and she's in california and she's an older lady and she wasn't happy about it obviously but uh she understood my point and uh she told me that time um do what you can do. If you can market for me and find somebody to buy it, whatever, you know, I just want to, I, she goes, I don't even want to use the word sell. I just want to get rid of it. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, that word, get rid of it stuck in my head. So yeah. I, uh, put on the market for $3,000, Ooh, right? Put on the market for $3,000 yep. and, uh, two days later, so I said, yeah, I'll take it. It's perfect. I want to put a place, uh, looking for a place for a camper on the weekends, you know, just have some fun because I know some wetlands on it, but I'm good with that. I'm, I'm like, cool. So I called the lady back up. I go, hey, give me 300 bucks for it. She's like, great. And she's so happy about it for getting 300 dollars. <laughs> That's and, awesome. You know, so quick flip for, you know, a couple of days and not really doing a whole lot of work. So it was fun. Yeah. I like how you pointed out you're helping people, you know? Like, Absolutely. Coming from a place of abundance and joy, like, hey, I think it speaks a lot to how you, you see, how you see the world and kind of how it's framed around. Like, hey, we're not taking lots from people, you know? Like, people aren't dumb as to the value of their properties. They... You come from a place of helping, they'll give you an opportunity. And that's that's a, seems like exactly what happened with yours. Absolutely. So I do want to ask, you made good money before, right? I don't want to go deeply into your financial situation. You made good money now. What The difference is time, right? What are you doing with your time now? Typical day, get up in the morning, go to the gym, come back, sit down, a cup of coffee, eat my breakfast, um, jump on my VA, make sure she's on task, make sure she's doing everything correctly, everything's good. Um, I'll start sending out some offers, um, you know, check my emails, things like that. Usually by the afternoon, you know, maybe lunchtime or so, I'm pretty much done with the things that have to get done by the day. So it's just, uh, it's digging deep, deeper and further into where do I want to go with this, you know, creating, thinking about what's next. Um, so it's, uh, it's much easier. You don't feel like you have to be somewhere at a certain time. It's just, uh, it's much more freedom for sure. I mean, same amount of money, but 
whole lot more freedom. Yeah. Gary, I appreciate you, man. Ah, I appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you for the interview. Thank you.